silly worries, fears, unproductive memories and passions, all this carry away your energies. So, this is meditation important. You see, it will help you build attention. When this state is achieved, now what has happened? Awareness has come to the forefront and thought has receded. No, 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 you have become deeply conscious, but thought process is under control, it is in the background, you have become deeply aware. So, attention ka definition hi hua, it is nothing but a beam of your awareness directed by your will. Attention ka kya definition hai according to yoga psychology, it is a beam of your awareness directed by your will. So, awareness forefront mein nahi aayega, to kaise attention build up hoga? That is why you must practice yoga, so that this carried away, being carried away by thought process stops. That is why it is so important. You become more aware than identified. You become more conscious than stupid. And you will become very, very attentive at that point. So, the very definition of attention by definition, attention is power of attention. Attention is a steady beam of your mental awareness generated by your will. And it is through the power of attention that you focus and concentrate your mind. Vajo pehla picture diya gaya hai, it is the concentrated attentive mind. Dekhi aapka attention, it is like a laser, itna focused hai. You can, you know, you can do delicate eye surgery with laser, the most delicate surgery. Agar attention aisa ho, to you can do anything. The most delicate things of life will be very easy for you. Or agar attention second picture jaisa ho, <laughs> no beam at all, utterly scattered. Then even if you give 24 hours a day to the task you are performing, nothing will happen. Nothing serious will happen in your life. Hai na? Ye dekh liya hai na apne? So, power of attention you must understand and the ability to build attention, bring it like this into focus. This is something ya aapko seekhna hi hai. This is the purpose of this course. No use just knowing a few concepts. Now, you will generate that level of attention in these classes and you will apply them further on. Hmm? Ye hum practice karenge, lekin theory mein aap ye jaan lo. See, nobody will give you this definition of attention. You know, kaise definitions dete hain psychology mein attention ke? Ability to remove other things from the mind. That is not enough. Positively, what is it? From the first person standpoint, what, what is it? It is nothing but your own mental awareness. Come into complete fruition and focus and directed by your will. So, attention depends on your willpower. So, the undercurrents of attention then, that also you should know. The undercurrents of attention will be your awareness and your will. If awareness is not there in the mind, only your silly thought process is going on, attention cannot be built. If will is not there to build attention, attention cannot be built. So, these are the undercurrents of attention. So, take charge of yourself. And also you should remember, there is no point in learning attention, concentration, all this, if you cannot focus it on worthy goals. Ye bhi hai na? You know, Hitler was very concentrated guy, Hitler. Kya hua us concentration ka? So, if you do not have, isi liye mene aapko sanskar ka slide dikhaya. Achhe sanskar na ho, to better not build concentration. Only if you have worthy sanskars and a very pointed mind, you will really do good. Ye ek aisa mechanism hai, aap karoge to aapko mil jayega. Lekin the groundwork should be very good. The foundation upon which you build attention. You must possess good sanskars fundamentally in life. Then on that you build everything. Isi liye achhe cheeze dekhna, achhe kaam karna, 
good exposures, good reading, good habits in life. Right now, you make it part and parcel of your life. Tabi, this level of attention will really help you. This is yogic attention, you know. Otherwise, ultimately, you will focus this attention on something silly. So, isiliye, remember awareness and its investment in your thought process. Iska matlab baud gera hai, abhi hum usme nahi jayenge, but uh, at least you should know this. Awareness and will are the undercurrents of your attention. These two must come to the forefront in your mind and your thoughts of fear, anger, hatred, whatever that should recede, wo piche jane chahiye that you should try to obliterate as far as possible, then attention can be built up to this level. Because it by definition it is nothing but the, it is your mental awareness directed by your will, it is a beam of your mental awareness. Now if you actually watch the practical scenario, you will see most people only know thoughts, awareness ke baare mein utna kuch, they have no idea, suna bhi nahi hai baut logo ne. Suna hai kabhi? Awareness ke baare mein itni charcha? Nei, suna nahi hai. We are only identified with thought, but what is it that enlivens your thought? It is awareness. Woh piche khadi hai awareness. That is why your thought means something to you. Aap dekhi, aapka mental mechanism aise hi kaam kar raha hai. Now your job is to bring awareness to the forefront and put thought behind. Meditation ka yahi maksad hai. You become more aware than identified with the thought process. When you are able to do this, attention will peak. Peak attention means peak performance in anything. So, uska mechanics ye hai. Now, how do we actually apply this? I can give you any number of examples for this state. Example dene se wo yaad bhi rehta hai aapko. You know, there is another incident. Uh, of this kind of a complete yogic concentration. Vivekanand ke life mein toh bohat aap milenge. Ek bar uh, Belur Mat mein Encyclopedia Britannica ko lekar bhi aisa hi ek incident hai. Uh, Swami ji ek ek din mein ek ek volume pad rahe hai. So somebody told him that uh, how, how, how can you, his, his own disciple actually he had come and he asked him that Swami ji how have you read so many volumes so quickly. So Swami ji ne kaha you please ask me whatever you want. Or usne pucha and Swamiji same capacity, verbatim bol rahe hai vahan par kya likha hai. Ek bar padne se ye kaise sambhav hai? By the power of attention. By the power of attention. See when you actually are in a, a completely attentive state, you will lose sense of time and space. Ye hua hai aapke life mein? Kabhi kabhi rarely hota hai. Ab, jab, uh, I do not know how many of you are in the PhD, many times I have found my PhD students saying this, ki hota hai ma'am ye, isko ek naam bhi hai, aaj kal na, uh, there is a huge study of this process, especially awareness, attention, their connection, it is being studied the world over. The insight I am giving you is the insight of yoga psychology, lekin waha par sab, sab jaga mein kaise study kar rahe hai? They are studying it as they call it flow. Uh, it's a it's a word coined by Zik Mihali. Mihali Zik Mihali. Uh, he has coined this word called flow, which means you are wrapped in some object, on something you are studying or anything, and you lose sense of time and space spontaneously. Kabi kabi music sunte ye hota hai na? You got so totally involved in the music ki aap bhooli gaye kitna samay kitna baja ki kuch khaya ya nahi khaya you don't remember anything when you are playing a game of chess kitne log khelte ho no no time for chess okay few of you play chess so chess mein jab climax hota hai tab aise hota hai na huh? you forget naturally you are totally you are riveted because you have to win so there are states in your everyday life where you experience this flow. Jab naturally time space drop and your attention becomes unmoving, kyunki aisa climactic situation hai. 
Now the point is you must learn to generate flow even when there is no challenge. Because flow is considered a, it is actually a function between challenges and skills. If you are very skillful in something and as there is a real challenge in front of you, flow is generated. They can mathematical problems ko, ko tackle karne ke samay, this happens. A real challenging situation and you are skilled enough, then you completely you will dive into it. So, if you are able to generate flow without even a challenge, that is yoga. Which means this is your normal state of mind where your attention remains on the object, does not flit from there. Whatever you are doing, agar ye habit ho jaye, tell me what will stop your success in life. So, that is why the power of attention is the secret of success. Aap kisi bhi uh, successful person ke life mein dekho. There is a book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen Covey, I do not know how many of you have read it. You will see any successful person has this capacity for unmoving attention. Jo uska maksad hai, jo usko hasil karna hai, waha par he is absolutely committed, he does not move from there. So, unless that state is manufactured, generated, maintained continuously, you will lose this capacity after a few years. Isi umar mein karna hai, aapko pata hai? Yog, you have to do it within 30 years, they say. The, the higher reaches of yoga, because they are only showing you the highest reaches of your own consciousness. Let me tell you one more thing, with age, this capacity goes. If you miss it, you have missed it for life. Are you seeing the seriousness of it? Only in this age you can do it. After this age, it, it, it will ripen if you have manufactured it correctly. Otherwise, it is difficult. So, practice now is important. This is part and parcel of your entire study process. Better attention, better study. It is not another thing or a course, a credit career, karna hai. don't have such silly ideas. It is part and parcel of studies. Jitna attention manufacture karoge, utni achi padai hogi. Hmm? 